What's going on YouTube? It's the Smoke Reaper. Uh, today I got something pretty cool to show you. It's a do-it-yourself project. Uh, all you're really going to need is the uh, Xbox 360 power brick, you know, the standard one, um, a knife, and that's pretty much all you need. Oh, I'm sorry. An old amplifier, an old car amp if you have one laying around, and some power wire. Other than that, you're probably going to need like some speaker wire if you have any laying around, just a positive and negative strip. And uh, just, a, like I said, a knife, the brick, and everything else I explained. So uh, I've been seeing other videos of it, but one day I got bored and was looking at the power brick, looking at the 360 power brick, and looking at the amp. And I had an extra one laying around, so I figured why not give it a try. So what I did was I hooked it up, you know, spliced it. Ran it. Everything you see here is already with the 360, um, the power cord, except for the jumper wire here, and the uh, you know just the speaker wire. So I'm going to teach you how to do this yourselves. If you have one laying around, it's real simple. It doesn't take long. So what you want to do, since I've already done it, I'm going to show you. What I did here was you cut off the end. I don't know where the end, other end's at. You know the end it plugs into the 360. You just slice that off. Next, what you want to do is just, you know, take your knife, is what I did, and just stripped it like this, as you can see right here. When it comes out, you're going to have three yellows, three blacks, and a red and blue. What you want to do is take your three yellows, twist them together. You know, just the tip. I didn't even put on anything to hold it in there, really. I just really tightened the terminals down real tight. So like I was saying, three yellows, twist them together. They're going to be going into your B positive. The three blacks are going to go into your ground. So twist those two together just like that. Three yellows, three black. Black, ground, yellow, B positive. Now these two, you're going to see they're red and blue. This is what makes this turn on the little light. If you don't do it right, it'll look yellow, but when you do it right, it will come up green so those absolutely need to be attached the only problem with that is as long as those are attached the amp will always run as long as it's plugged into the wall which I will show you then it'll just be plugged straight into the wall over here and it'll still run so again three blacks to the ground three yellows to the power now if you have an extra jumper wire laying around you know you can't use speaker wire. I get use like a little power wire I just use you know some 24 gauge spliced it at the end, have the wire exposed, I plugged it into my power here, the B positive, along with the yellow, so it's touching each other, and the other one's going to go to your remote turn on, that way when you plug it in, it's going to send a signal to turn on the amp, like I said, as long as this is plugged in, like this, and twisted, it's going to run constantly, unless, you know, you unplug it from the wall, I had this thing running at full max for about two hours. I didn't get any overheating with the amp. I didn't lose any voltage or anything. I did some volt checks on it. Everything checked out. So from there, what you're just going to do is once you have that all done, you really don't need to do anything special. I have here an old sub from my brother's truck. That he had. It's, an old, it's just an XDX12. It's a piece of crap. And he made a makeshift box for it. It really doesn't matter. You know, as long as you have something connect the terminals here, or you can do it with any type of speaker as well. So what I'm going to do is just bring this over here. Sorry for the camera shake. And for people who have no idea what to do, which doesn't include my fellow bass heads because they all know what they're talking about, what I'm talking about. Basically take your positive, put it into your positive terminal, which I'm going to set my camera down for a second. Click it in, take your negative, put it into the negative terminal, make sure it's in there. Now, you know, you don't have a head unit to play anything out of, but you could get through that easily. They sell these at Radio Shack, Walmart, whatever. It's basically just an RCA cable, and it's attached to an auxiliary. It's all, they're like $5, $7. Again, I had this one laying around. This is so you can bypass the, uh, having to have a head unit and all that. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to take these. Now this has a low input and a low output. 
usually I just put it into the low input. Some of the some uh, crappy amps like this only have one. Some of them have two. And it's only a two-channel amp. Now instead of it playing straight bass for everybody out there who has this button on theirs, it says I know you can't read it. Oh, it says low, full, and high performance. What I have it turned to is high performance as it helps filter out some of the bass as I've tried to play with it but if you turn it to here you know you'll get music and bass you know and from here like I said I have it turned to low I mean high power and, you know just mess with your gains your high performance knob your bass boost your gain to you get it the way you want to sound now I'm plugging it into my laptop so what you want to do because when you plug this thing in you're this just touching this and right here for the auxiliary cord is going to make this thing just make all kinds of crazy noises. So what I'm going to do is just plug it in, just like this, into the uh, headphone slot. And I have a Mac, so I'm going to mute this. And then this is where the real magic comes in. Just going to plug it in like you would normally. And if all is done correctly... This might make a sound, you know, as you can see, there's no sparks. You heard, I don't know if you heard a little pop. This is incorrectly, so you're going to have a green light. You know? So, from there, you're ready to go. Like I said, I have mine muted, but if I, as soon as I touch this button, you'll be able to hear it. It doesn't sound loud now, but let's uh, play something here. Hold on. Let's get some of my boy on here. For all you bass heads out there, I know you know who Syph Morrison is. So, but for people who don't, check his stuff out. He does some good stuff. Alright, I'm just going to start it. Doesn't sound loud yet, but I'm going to turn it up. Alright, as you can see, it works. Now what I usually just use is for the messing with the uh, settings in the back. Just want to take a knife or whatever you can to turn these little knobs here. You know, to toy with it until you get something you like. So as you can see it works. That way, you know, there's some songs that are louder than others. So let me see if I can find something else to play by him. Here we go, this is a good one. Yeah. Bass, 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 this doesn't actually get hot at all. Other than that, you know, I don't see any blinking on the power, which means it's still getting a good amount of power. That was the full button I hit. Now turning it on that's going to make the bass bigger. So as you can see, it works real well. 
You know, like I said, it amped and heat up. You know, I'm not getting any heat coming off of this. Sorry this video is so long, but all the other videos I've seen doing this, you know, I did it before even I thought about looking it up. And I saw some people were putting it up there, so I watched some of their videos, you know, seeing how they were doing it. They told you, they told you, like, what the wires were, but they didn't tell you where to hook them up, all that, you know, what to do. So I thought this would be a little bit more, more in-depth version of it. Trying to make it easier for people who want to try it and people who know how to do it and people who don't know how to do it. So, you know, it's a simple thing to do. So, uh, I want to find something that I can really crank on here. Because, uh, you know, I just want to show you guys. So, let's do some of this. Okay, so that's all I got for you guys today. You know, try it out. Leave your comments on it. You have any other questions, you know, just hit me up. Uh, let me know what you think. If you try it and you want to, you know, tell me how it worked out, you know, put some videos, responses, whatever you guys want. Share the video. Do what your thing. So uh, that's all I got for you guys. Smoke Reaper. Peace.